Good morning, children's worship friends. It's November, another Sunday in November where we can talk about what we're thankful for. Do you remember what we talked about last week? I talked about how I was thankful for my family. And so this week, I have my kids that are home with me to help do the greeting. And if you have not told me what you're thankful for, have your parents send me a text so we know what you're thankful for. In the meantime, we're gonna do our greeting. Let's start with our L and we, the greeting goes, the, the Lord be with you and also with you. Enjoy the story today. Joseph was sold to some men who took him to Egypt, a country that was far away. Joseph was sold to a very important man. Joseph was far from home, but God was with him. God helped Joseph to do his work well. Joseph's master was pleased that he could trust him. One day, the master's wife told a lie about Joseph. The master was angry and threw Joseph into prison. But God was with Joseph in prison too. The prison keeper put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners. One day, two prisoners looked sad. What is the matter? Joseph asked. We have dreamed and we don't know what they mean, they answered. Tell me your dreams, Joseph said. God will show me the meanings. They told Joseph the dreams and God helped him know what they meant and what would happen. Joseph said, remember to tell the king about me when you get out of prison. But they forgot. Two years passed and Joseph was still in prison.
One night, Pharaoh, the king, dreamed he was standing by the river and seven fat cows came up out of the river. Then seven very thin cows came up and ate the fat cows. Then Pharaoh had another dream. This time, seven heads of grain grew big and full. After them came seven very thin heads of grain. The thin heads of grain ate up the big heads of grain. Pharaoh woke up and was troubled. Nobody could explain his dreams. Then the men who had been in prison remembered Joseph. Send for that man, Pharaoh ordered. God helped Joseph to know the meanings of the dreams. He told the king that for seven years everything would grow so well, but then would come a time when nothing would grow. Pharaoh made Joseph a ruler. God helped Joseph to be wise. Now Joseph was an important man. The people did what he said. He had big barns built to store grain and food so there would be food when nothing would grow. Then came the bad years. There was no rain. The people came to Joseph for food. Back in Canaan, Joseph's brothers and father had no food either. The father, Jacob, said, I have heard that there is food in Egypt. Go and buy grain. The brothers bow down to this important man. They didn't know it was Joseph. Joseph knew his brothers. He said, you are spies. No, sir, they cried. We are all brothers and have come to buy grain. You are spies, said Joseph. Put them in jail for three days. Joseph wanted to see if they were still mean. The brothers were troubled. We are being punished for our brother's death. Joseph heard his brothers talking and Joseph cried. He said, I am Joseph, your brother. I am not angry with you. God has been with me. God wants us to be friends and brothers again. I'll give you all the food you need. The brothers hurried home to tell their father and to bring all of their families to Egypt to live close to Joseph. I wonder how Joseph felt to be so far from home in a strange place. I wonder what it was like to go to the king and tell the meaning of the dreams. 
I wonder how Joseph knew the meanings of the dreams. I wonder if Joseph liked being the king's helper. I wonder if Joseph remembered his dreams when his brothers bowed down to him. I wonder how Joseph felt that he was going to see his father again. I wonder if Joseph's brothers were sorry for what they had done to him. Joseph and his brothers, part two. In the faraway place, Joseph worked for a soldier. Was Joseph happy? No, but God was there and God helped him. One day, the soldier put Joseph in jail. Was Joseph happy? No, but God was there and God helped him. After a while, Joseph got to work for the king. Was Joseph happy? No, but God was there and God helped him. One day, Joseph's brothers came. They had not been nice to Joseph. But now they were sorry. Would Joseph be mean to them? No, Joseph was kind. He gave his brothers something to eat. The king said, Joseph, tell your daddy, tell your brothers, tell all your family to come and live here close to you. Now, do you think Joseph was happy? <laughs>